Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I would like to wish you guys a happy new year. Welcome to 2019. I hope you guys had a nice holiday with your family and friends. So for today, I'll be showing you guys how to create a pickup animation. So it's just basically um, maybe you're animating a character picking up an object. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that um, efficiently. So this is what we'll be working with. If I play this animation, you can see. So the bone picks up this cube and it loses its um, control over the cube um, along the line. So that's what we're trying to create today. So this should be a very simple and fast tutorial. Um, in case this is your first time using Blender and your scene look different, I may have customized some things, but for most part, everything is the same. Okay, so let's set everything up. Uh, let's first delete this constraint because that's what's making everything looking good. And let's delete the keyframe. So what we only have is just the bone acting up. Okay. So let's go to the front view and I've gone ahead and given this bone a name. So I um, called it lift bone so that when I'm assigning the constraint, um, I'll, it'll be easy for me to locate uh, my bone. So. In case I'm fast, um, you can leave any question in the comments and I will answer it as fast as I can. So let's select this cube and select under relationship. You want to select child of. This is just basically the parent child um, relationship, but this offers you more control. You could either isolate it to just affect the location or the rotation or even the scale. Okay, so let's select a target. So the target is going to be this amateur. So right now you see it's going to lose its place. Um, if we move this bone around, it's already parented to it. Um, so let's select a bone that we want to just, we just want to isolate this bone to be able to affect the cube. So as I said earlier, the lip bone is what we want. And now it's displaced. And if we select the set inverse, um, it will place it back um, to the spot. So most of the times it doesn't do that. So it's sometimes it may go crazy. All you want to do is clear the inverse, inverse and set inverse again. So it's going to place it in its um, initial position. And it's, as you can see right now, it's going along with the animation. Okay. So um, set inverse, clear inverse, set it. So if you want to set it back to the initial, you just do the clear and Set inverse is going to do that for you. So let's animate it. So at first, we don't want it to have any influence on this object. So it's going to come here. So around this position, around this um, keyframe, I will increase the, uh, increase the influence and clear inverse, set inverse. Insert keyframe, if go a frame backwards and remove, set the influence to zero. And that's just that the object picks it up. So now this part is a bit more complex because um, we want to animate it that it when it gets up, this cube loses its um, control, loses its um, parents. So let's do that. So when it comes about this length, um, so um, to do this, you first insert a keyframe for the cube itself not on the constraint so you insert a keyframe for the cube and then insert another keyframe for the influence then go one frame and set it to zero so this the cube will go back to its initial position so what you want to do is manually um, place it back on that spot so a good stuff that can help you is the annotation tool so you could just use this to just set it up okay or you could even duplicate the uh it so it should be like a placeholder and stuff like that so let's go to the next frame by hitting the up arrow so we can now more precisely place it around here and we can go back and forth to make sure it matches closely and yep so that's that. It picks it up and it loses its parent. 
Um, so let's just complete the animation. Um, so at this point, it's going to just fall down. Just pull it down. Okay. So it just fall to the ground, and that's that. So the animation is not as perfect as the opening animation, but that's just basically how to set up um, picking um, a animatable child and parent re relationship inside Blender. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, you can hit the subscribe bu button. And finally, I'm wishing you guys good luck in this year. I wish you the best. And thank you again. Bye-bye for now.